Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question and it's this. Have you ever felt tired, weary, sluggish, or even down? You know, believers aren't supposed to be tired, weary, lifeless, joyless people. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6, it says this, Stir up the gift of God which is in you. You know, you and I are supposed to be up. We're supposed to be bright. We're supposed to be energetic, joyful, full of life, vibrant people. You know, the world is dark. The world is grumpy. The world is tired. You ever experienced any of it when you've been out there in the world? Yeah, they're dark, they're grumpy, they're tired, they're depressed. But Jesus said this to you and me in Matthew 5. He said, you are the light of the world. And you and I are supposed to be burning hot with life and hot with joy and hot with light in this world. We're supposed to be joyful. We're supposed to be up. We're supposed to be energetic. People should look at us and want to be like us. And if we're low, if we're depressed, if we're down, if we're dark and just like them, well, they won't want to be like us. So this is supposed to be a part of your witness, a part of your testimony. Now, here's the thing. You and I always don't feel bright. <laughs> you know, We don't always feel up. We don't always feel energetic. So when we feel low, we don't have to just sit there and be low. We can use our words and stir up the gift of God that is within us. You know, just because you feel low doesn't mean you have to be low. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, when David and his men had came back to their homes after a, after a battle, they had found that their homes had been burned and their families had been taken. And the scripture said that David encouraged himself in the Lord. And see, friends, sometimes you're going to have to be your own best cheerleader. And rather than just sitting there and being tired and weary and down and low, you're going to have to encourage yourself in the Lord and use your own words. You know, in Psalm 42, verse 5, it says this, the psalmist said, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted in me? Hope in God. You see, friend, he's talking to himself. He's using his words when he's in a low place to stir himself up. And you and I, if we're going to stir ourselves up and if we're going to feel low but not be low, if we're going to be bright and be energetic and be full of life, then you have to learn the art of talking to yourself and using your words to stir yourself up. You know, anybody can just sit there and be depressed. Anybody can just sit there and be down. But you and I have our words and we have the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And as we speak the Word of God over our lives, then we can stir ourselves up. Energy can be stirred. Joy can come. Life can come. And we don't have to stay in that low place. Now, here's one of the best ways to stir yourself up. Charge the atmosphere with faith-filled words. You know, there's an atmosphere that surrounds you and surrounds your life. You know, maybe there's been a time if you've maybe walked into a room and you can sense before you even got into the room that there's something going on in the room. People have been arguing or fighting or something going on. And see, there's an atmosphere to your life. And when you feel down and you feel low and you feel dark, it can feel like there's a cloud of just heaviness and darkness and weariness just kind of looming over you. But when you begin to declare the word of God out your mouth and charge the atmosphere with faith-filled words, that darkness and that cloud and that heaviness will just lift off. It'll break off. So instead of just sitting there and being low and being down, you can start saying things like, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. The greater one lives on the inside of me. 
I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The joy of the Lord lives on the inside of me. And it is my strength and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keeps my heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And faith is my victory. And today I live by faith and walk by faith and walk in victory. And see, you can see what's happening to me right now as I'm doing it. As you do those things and charge the atmosphere with faith, man, you'll stir yourself up, life will rise, joy will rise, and you won't be in that low place anymore. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, believers aren't supposed to be joyless, tired, weary, lifeless people. Number two, when you feel low, you don't just have to be low. Use your words and stir up the gift of God that is within you. And number three, one of the best ways that you can stir yourself up is charge the atmosphere with faith-filled words. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I release my faith over everybody watching the broadcast today. Lord, and any of them that are in a low place, any of them that are in a dark place, Lord, I thank you today that they would begin to charge the atmosphere with faith-filled words. I thank you that they would begin to stir up the gift of God that is within them. And I thank you today that they're coming out of that weary place. They're coming out of that low place. They're coming out of that tired place, that dark place, and coming into their place of victory and life and joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.